Hi there, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Bannock. And Bannock is a Shih Tzu crossed with a Pomeranian. And we are growing out and uh, going to be cutting a um, lion's cut on him today. We've already done it once before, about three months ago, and which has started. So it's kind of really filling in now. And then now I'm just going to get it trimmed up again, and I wanted to show you how to do that. So um, what I'm doing is the body we're going to keep at a number seven. Um, we've gone through some photos and um, made a decision on what uh, the owner would prefer to see as the end result because there's so many variations of the lion cut. So that's a good idea to always go check out the different pictures um, so that you can see what else is out there as well. So um, I've started up here. We're going to grow it out basically to the shoulder blades. And so last time we had gone a little further up, but this time we're going to go a little further back. And I'm doing a number seven on the body. So it was about three months ago when he was here. So this is uh, grown out for quite a bit. And we're going to change a little bit on his face. Because last time we had his face and muzzle a little bit longer. But this time we're going to clean that up as well. And we are going to keep the legs short as well. Um, just so there's nothing uh, that catches when he's going to play and stuff. So he's not bringing anything in with him. So I already did a trim on the feet and nails I did already. Um, I do have other videos where I show you how to groom the feet and nails as well and in between the pads. I have many videos um, with different dogs on how to do that. So please subscribe to my channel and you can uh, get some viewing of different, different grooming of different dogs um, and different techniques that I use. Because as you can see, I do not use restraints and I have never used restraints as I don't think uh, they're necessary but I would never want my dog to be restrained so I've never restrained another dog as well. So this is again number seven that I'm using right now and he is a little bit damp I just gave him a bath. Okay bud. So what we're going to do is just to the leg I always have them on a table that's a little bit slippery so that when I'm grooming I can uh, have a little bit more control but I also let them move around and I just move around to their comfort level. He's got a little sensitive legs I'm feeling here. Okay. You see he wasn't very happy with me, but he did not try to bite, so I do not do anything about it. He's just let me know. He's not happy, but that's all right. He can say his piece. All right. So I'm just going to go to the inside of the armpit and there's a little bit of mats in there so I am going to switch to a number 10 for that um, because you don't really want to be digging in there when there's mats uh, with longer than number 10 because it can um, grip the skin and pull it because there is a lot of loose skin under there so you want to be careful of that. And I just want to do just the armpit area. I don't want to go any further um, because under there you won't see it so it won't affect the cut. And then under here I still want to get underneath his chest the nice and short cut as well. Just see where um, his uh, lion's mane will end there. Yeah, so it's going to end right between his legs, basically, is where we want to see it end. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off. And I'll raise that up for you to see as well. Now I get that. And there we go. 
Okay, then we'll lower it back down. Okay, so we're going to finish off the other side here. And when I do, um, like this is more of a rough cut because he still is damp. So once um, I'm done the whole body, I'm going to go and give him another blow dry to really dry it up and then it'll kind of fluff out everything. And then I will go again with the number seven and just clean up any um, things that I've missed that kind of poofs up from the blow dryer. But this kind of gives me, um, cleans up the majority of it and gets the, the main, you know, bulk of it gone. So then I can kind of see what I'm working with as well. So it won't be a truly finished cut until I'm after done blow drying, but this is just to give you an idea of what the lion cut looks like. So around the bum area, I'm gonna just um, use a number 10 again. Just again, because it's a sensitive area and he is not fixed. So he has a little bit more sensitive areas in there. So you gotta be aware of all that. And with the skin being damp, um, it's a little more tender, I guess, or more sensitive because the skin is softer as well. So then I just go in there with the number 10. And just to trim up everything. Okay, and then I go on the back side. And uh, we are going to just use the number 10 right around the bum area. Just to get most of the bulk again out. Okay, and then for the tail, in the true uh, line cut tradition, we will be trimming it just to leave a little poof on the end. So you go with the tail. If you go against the, the fur, or up the tail, I mean, it'll make it quite a bit shorter. So when you're doing this, you have to make sure you go down the tail. Otherwise, it'll grab too much hair the other way. And again, I will be going again once I do another blow dry on him. But this is just to take most of the bulk down and give me a good sense of what's, uh, what it looks like. All right. So then we just want a little poof at the end. So I'm going to trim some of that off. And it kind of leaves a little bit more. And then you kind of round it a little bit as well. And he likes to leave it down. So we'll just leave it like that. And I always err on the side of caution. So underneath I'm going to go down because I don't want that hair hanging down. And when the owner comes, if they would like it shorter, it's much easier to do than uh, make it a little longer, obviously. So I always err on the side of caution. So we'll leave it that length and see what she thinks. And uh, I can change it up if she wants it a little shorter. All right. Okay, so for the, um, for the face of the line cut, um, first, they need to do a little bit shorter on the ears, as the lion, as the lion has um, short ears. So we don't want these long frillies coming from it. We just kind of make them so they're pointy again. His ears do not stand up, so um, that will be just a little bit different of a lion cut. Because his ears like to lay down. So, and then also we go very short on the muzzle and face to get the true lion cut. So we are gonna trim all this down. And that'll help keep the hair out of his eyes.
And the lion's face around his nose and muzzle is actually really short. As well, so. Last time we had kept his face a little bit longer, so this will be a true, truly different look for him. Now that the rest of his mane has grown out, um, it will look more significantly like a lion's cut. I always like to uh, layer it still a little bit. He's very fair skinned, so I don't want to shave too much because um, otherwise it may show a little bit of pink. So that's why I'm choosing to use the scissors rather than a number 10 blade on his face, which you can shave. But this way it'll leave a little bit more fuzz for him. We're just gonna go kind of down his eyes and around under his throat. He's got a little bit of matting under his chin, so I guess that's good. We're going short. He must get food caught in there. And before I started the groom, I did actually brush all this out just to get any thickness out of it as well. All right. <laughs> and there is our lion's cut for Bannock. And again, it's just a little bit rough yet. I'm going to be doing a blow dry and um, another kind of uh, trim on his body but basically you can see it is starting to come very nicely Here, baby. with his nice uh, chest there and uh, you know lower this down there we go you can see from the side he's got a nice mane here Nice mane on the back, and it comes down his shoulders. So I'll be trimming all this, but this is kind of his his mane there, and his body. So I'll just uh, do a little bit of trim here, just to separate a little bit more. But that's how you do a lion's cut on a Pomeranian cross with a Shih Tzu. And, uh, like we said, there's, uh, there's so many different variations, so you'll want to actually um, check to see what you would prefer. But uh, it's grown out quite nice on him. And he definitely has that look of the lion on him. So I hope you liked the video. And uh, please comment and ask any questions if there's anything specific you'd like to see. And um, if you'd like to see more unique groomings or just how to groom your dog in general with uh, the basics. I have lots of videos to explain that all with no restraints. So please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And um, I hope you keep watching and uh, you have a great day.